Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge 360. In today's video, I will discuss about global temporary tables available in PostgreSQL database. And also uh, in this video, I will cover few points like what is global temporary table and when it is used, uh, what are the options available while creating the global, global temporary table and the differences between PostgreSQL global temporary table and oracle database global temporary table which is better and in the next video that is the second part of this video i'll discuss the practical use of global temporary table since i'm going to be explain explaining here that when a transaction is completed or the session is terminated the database uh, table definition is also be dropped from the database table so this is a difference between oracle temporary table and postgresql database temporary table so you must be asking that uh, so what is the uh, way that we can use the global temporary table in our procedure in our function or in our uh, any programs in postgresql database so all these things will be covered in our channel through videos so please subscribe the channel so and you don't miss any video so let's get started with this video particularly and to understand what is global temporary table so uh, it is uh, we can say that a global temporary table is a session based uh, table available in postgresql database and also it is a transaction based tables why i'm saying that it is a transaction based table i'll explain you in a while okay so before uh, starting let's uh, uh, see a sample uh, table in uh, in our database okay so let's create one sample table first so that we can understand better i can write and also this is uh, there is two things we can write like this create temp or we can write create temporary both are same we can use either okay so i'm using temporary uh, in this video in next video i'll use temp okay create temporary table and we can give a look uh, a table name that is temp location we can say for example okay and similar to our normal table creation we can give here the column names for example ct which is of let's say varchar 50 and another column also we can add as uh, as much column we can add uh, just like uh, oracle global temporary table okay so it's also varchar say it's uh, 40 okay so now we have here three options in oracle you must be knowing that we have options like on commit delete rows on commit preserve rows including that we do we do have both of the options and also we have another option that on commit drop okay i'll show you that also so uh, for example let's create and also if we don't give any option here and create like this then it will be on commit preserve rows you should remember this it is also uh, important uh, from interview point of view that what is the default uh, criteria it's preserve rows okay so for that let's write uh, for example in this table on commit delete rows okay we can create this table okay the table is created and we can confirm the same like this select star from temp location table name we can come confirm okay table is created but as i told that this table definition is not stored in the database permanently so if we come here and if we refresh okay so there is no table you, you get here okay so that that means it is stored only for this session it is not stored in the database okay this is an important point to remember in postgresql global temporary tables okay and the next thing is uh we have written it on commit delete rows so whenever the transaction is completed and the commit is uh, done so the table will be empty again okay so 
the visibility or the basic syntax is this and we can have the options like a to write uh, temp table as I mentioned and we can mention here global or local so those global writing global and or local these are deprecated now uh, we are in the uh, we are using PostgreSQL 15 version and as of now in this version this writing here uh, global or local so uh, they are deprecated now okay uh, you can mention but uh, that is deprecated as I told so I'm not using the old fashion of the creating table statement okay so and also we can write here if no if exist uh, sorry if not exist also we can mention so these are the optional things uh, I'm not writing those things in detail you can understand so this is the same definition except that here we can write we have to write temporary or a temp to create the temporary tables okay so fine and the visibility like visibility we can say the uh, scope of this table is till the current session okay since we have created on commit delete rows or if we uh, write on commit preserve rows so the scope of this table is till the session is active and we are connected if as soon as I disconnect from the server or terminate the session or I I try to access the temporary table from other session so that will not going to happen okay so the visibility of this table is for this session only and if we have other option also I'm going to cover so if we give uh, on commit drop here so the visibility of this table would be uh, till the transaction is in progress okay so this is also a new thing that is not available in Oracle but is available in the uh, PostgreSQL database and also as I told that uh, this is not going to store in the database permanently and so uh, we need to have uh, the challenge that that challenge is there that how we can use that so those things I'll cover in the next video okay so this was uh, about basic things about uh, a global temporary table now let's see uh, these things with an example okay so let's create another global temporary table uh, say create table sorry create temp let's say we say here temp create temp table temp cities okay uh, I can have column name here uh, let's say column name is name only and it is character varying and let's say it's 100 okay and here I'm writing it on commit delete rows first we'll see one example of delete rows okay the table is created and we can confirm the same uh, like this register from this we can say okay there is no data because I, we haven't inserted any data so let's insert some data since my in my PC uh, auto uh, auto commit is on so I need to write like this begin transaction okay so begin transaction means until I do commit or rollback the transaction will not be commit or rollback okay uh, let's insert one record insert into the table name okay values we can write directly we have only one column no need to mention those columns so values suppose say Mumbai okay let's insert one record I have sorry uh, I need to start the begin transaction okay the transaction is started so I, I have inserted one record okay now let's check the data if we have data in this table or not see we have one data here let's insert one more record in the table say it Pune I have inserted one more record let's check it should be available in the table okay so we have those in the table so now what I'll do I'll do I'll perform the commit okay and after this commit okay I have performed the commit now what I, what will happen if I uh, the table will be available uh, you, you should remember this because we have written on commit delete rows only okay the table will be available but the data will not be there okay see data is uh, have vanished 
okay so like this we can see we can uh, now discuss the other example as we told that on commit preserve rows is also there so let's uh, do what let's uh, drop this table drop table table name so this is the statement to drop uh, temporary table also okay the table is dropped we can confirm the same like this okay the table is not available now we'll write on commit preserve rows even we don't write this it the by default it will be on commit preserve rows okay but uh, yeah, it's good to mention okay the table is created now uh, i don't need to begin transaction and all so what i'll do uh, i'm inserting the two records should be inserted let's check the same select start from time cities okay so even if the co commit is performed see uh, I have performed the commit but I should have data here because I have given on commit preserve rows okay this is the second option what is the third option let's drop the table again and create the table again with the third option uh, this is a new thing what is available in PostgreSQL database only not in Oracle so it is on commit drop so this is interesting thing let's create the table okay so we uh, like this uh, let me show you uh, the table is created but as soon as i'll query the table you, you will not see the table is available there the reason is very simple uh, i'll explain see uh, we know the create table statement is a ddl statement and also we know the ddl statements are automatically commit okay so uh, that is why uh, it as soon as the table is created it will it is uh, permanently created and uh, the table definition is not available so for that i need to write here begin transaction okay and then i need to create the table okay see uh, the table is again created now if i see okay the table is available so what i have written here on commit drop so let's insert those records again let me insert okay the records are inserted let me check the same if we have data here or not okay if we have data we have the table so in the previous examples what was happening the data was uh, vanishing on commit but uh, the table was there so we can again use that but in this case on commit drop the table is itself dropped okay let me commit okay the commit is performed if i am going to check the table so table will, will is not available now okay so this is one option that uh, you can uh, play with so this much was available in uh, PostgreSQL database regarding global temporary table so in the next video I'll show you so uh, as we see that okay so this is as I told that this is transaction based okay and uh, unlike Oracle database it is not stored in the database so what I'll do now uh, I'll take uh, let's let's create again uh, for example we can create again okay the temporary table is created uh, we can confirm it okay we, we confirmed it the table is created but as i told that this is transaction based oh, sorry this is the session based as well as transaction based based so it will not be available to other sessions let's check through this uh, okay see in this session the table is available but in this session the table is not available that means because uh, the table definition is not stored here and also nowhere the table definition is uh, stored in the PostgreSQL or uh, PostgreSQL database for global temporary table. So how we can use this feature that uh, if there is a global temporary table concept and uh, uh, it is not stored, the definition is not stored, then uh, how we can use okay uh, you must be uh, having this challenge while migrating from oracle database or other database to postgresql database and you are having the global temporary tables okay so we'll cover those things in the next video and also i want to uh, tell you that uh, only few people subscribe my channel and uh, i'm bringing good really good content for you uh, with my all the hard work and time so please do subscribe my channel share the videos like videos and give your 
comments or recommendation in the comment section it will be helpful so let's meet in the next video with uh, the second part of the video so till then take care bye bye